Because of Colorado's and Maine's terrible legal analysis of the 14th Amendment, every Democrat now wants to act like they're a legal expert, but sadly they're acting like Mr. Fantastic from Fantastic Four, stretching the 14th Amendment so far to fit their narrative that it makes them look like complete morons. And they keep citing Section 3 of the 14th Amendment that states any officer of the United States who engaged in an insurrection cannot be president. So the question of the day, under the 14th Amendment, should Donald Trump be disqualified from the presidency? Before we dive into the 14th Amendment, let's first ask an expert legal analyst, Joy Behar of The View. One, I don't think the Supreme Court's going to hold this. I think they're going to overturn it, and it won't just be the originalists. I bet it's a 9-0 vote. I actually don't think they will hold this. So you but think, I think they, they should leave it to the voters or I, not? I think they should leave it to the voters, oh, but no. I think that... Yeah, she doesn't think this election should be decided by the voters. I think that the law will stand, and so people I'm very, should follow the law. If that is if the law, the Supreme Court If you're not going to follow consistent. an amendment, then why don't we have Taylor Swift I take a difference. Okay, so I probably lost enough brain cells there. Uh, maybe I was confusing her with Joy Reid, someone that's more of an expert. Never mind. Okay, uh, I, I guess no one named Joy is an expert in anything. Um, the only thing that's good is uh, the song Joy to the World. Well, I guess we have to look at it for ourselves since no one's actually looking at it. They're just doing a bunch of buzzword talking points. Alrighty, let's break this down. No person shall be a senator or representative in Congress or elector of president and vice president or hold any office, civil or military, under the United States or under any state who have previously taken an oath as a member of Congress, or as an officer of the United States. Oh, wait, stop. This is where the big debate is. So obviously all the text before officer of the United States did not apply to Donald Trump. So the main question is the presidency and officer of the United States. Now from a military standpoint, the president is the highest ranking officer, but unfortunately for the Democrats, this isn't military. So I'm going to be linking a 54 page legal journal titled, is the president an officer of the United States for purposes of section three of the 14th amendment. This was an incredibly long, boring read, but I'll just summarize it for you. It presented evidence from debates, treatises, impeachment proceedings around the time of ratification of the 14th amendment to argue argue that the meaning of officer of the United States did not include elected positions like the presidency. And this is based off of prior case precedents in United States v. Moot, or M-O-U-A-T, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, United States v. Hartwell. And the overall argument is that officers have to be appointed, not elected, and Donald Trump was elected, so therefore he was not an officer. Then the next part of section three is, shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. Now, I have simple evidence to show that he did not engage in insurrection and an insurrection is a violent uprising against the government and it boils down to literally one clip and there's multiple other clips out there I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard that's all, huh? and that's it why do people keep saying it's an insurrection? That's why they have made this insurrection terminology from the beginning. They want to try to argue that he engaged in insurrection because it's in the 14th Amendment. This was not an insurrection. Like, I'm sorry, I, I don't need to go more in depth. Not only is the presidency not considered an officer position, but there wasn't even an insurrection to begin with. So it was a really good attempt, Democrats. I mean, you did it from a very in-depth perspective. Um, it just didn't work.